they've done different studies where they have created these crush injuries and then they've iced half of them and have not iced the other half. So sure. it's something that most people do. They bang their knee up, they're going to put ice on yeah, it and just yeah, rest. Yeah, it makes it feel better. They had a significant delay in healing. We had less white blood cells within the damaged area. You had uh, smaller muscle fibers. So there was atrophy compared to the muscles that were actually able to get the good blood flow in and out. We still had scar tissue that set in within the crush injury compared to the one that did not ice. Really? And so just the, the reasoning behind that is that we're seeing is that when you don't ice, it's basically allowing, like you said, the good things to get to the area. If we're trying to be as optimal as possible. Post-surgery. Post-surgery even. Yeah, post-ankle yeah. roll, post-anything that's anything. created swelling. Exactly. And that's really what we're trying to do as healthcare practitioners. We're trying to optimize the healing process.